host of Chatting with Janine, and this week we are talking with the New Hampshire Alzheimer's Association. With me today is uh, Nancy, Nancy Murphy, who we'll see later, um, Melissa Grenier. Yep. Uh, you're the regional director? Yes. And oh, I don't know who this man is, but I think I've seen him a couple of times around Merrimack. Let's see. Oh, Bob Bergen. Yeah. <laughs> The kids used to hang out at your shop many yeah, years ago. Many years ago. Our kids are older now. So, so Alzheimer's is a sad topic. Um, and I don't know anybody anymore who, who doesn't know somebody or has a loved one that's been affected by Alzheimer's. It's a very serious disease and, you know, what can you do? There's, there's no, uh, no cure. <coughs> I know uh, Biotech or Biogen. Um, did a, a very long study, put lots of money into it to, to try to come up with a cure, and they didn't come up with anything. There's many books written about the subject. I mean, I'm, I'm, I assume that you also have um, family members or loved ones that have had Alzheimer's? Yeah, yeah we um, began this journey when I learned, I was working as a visiting angel, and in 2015, I learned that there was a thing referred to as the longest day, a national fundraising event put on by Alzheimer's. Um, I get the title of team captain, and I then have to design my event, get my volunteers, and collectively start. We started with 15 people, the Knights of Columbus concession trailer, and we sold 500 hot dogs, and we thought we were king of the hill. Was that 12 years ago? It was uh, seven years ago. Seven years ago and 2015. Okay. And um, it kept going and growing and growing. Every year, more people, more volunteers, more continuations. And uh, Governor Sununu has, has come three or four times. Uh, you, as a, not just a, a, a rock, but a person as a state rep has come every year. We've had a lot of people contribute, both financially and uh, in-kind donations. And, Last year was the uh, phenomenal year, uh, 1,100 attendees. We never stopped cooking hot dogs. And, and that was, that's still during COVID, so that's, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. And yeah. During COVID, good... we only had 800 attendees because mm -hmm. people realized we're raising the whole package. We're raising funds, but we're really raising awareness and advocacy, and the people who are either the caregiver or have lost a loved one can come to us that day, they can su get support from other people, they can hang around, they can do hot dog wrapping, they can work the tent, they can work a concession trailer, you can do um, various other things. And we needed 60 volunteers, we need about 30 volunteers per time period. Mm -hmm. We start at 11 o'clock in the morning and we run until seven o'clock at night. I have two shifts of people. Um, person you'll meet in a little while, Nancy uh, Murphy and Sandy Mayo were my head cashiers last year and they just sold our swag, our hats, our t-shirts, they took donations. We ended up having to need four cashiers for each shift and we grew because we sold 2,300 hot dogs last year. That's awesome. Each hot dog is individually wrapped so that if you only want to eat one you can take one home. And the interesting thing about that is, while well, we buy the hot dogs, the rolls are donated by Walmart Sam's Club, the aluminum foil and the gloves were donated by Michael Timoth Timothy's, which is also known as Buckley's in Merrimack, and Coca-Cola donated the Coke, Planet Fitness donated the water, uh, Us Potato Chips donated the Us Chips. So when you get all that, you, you have a little bit less expense, so that's why we had such a good year with uh, the proceeds being 12000 And over the six years, we've generated over 33000 But more importantly, I get thank you notes from people who have physically said, I wouldn't have gone out to do anything because of COVID, but I want to go out. We're outside. We have seating for 100 We have indoor plumbing, so you can go downstairs if you need to use a bathroom. For the people that are handicapped or elderly that don't want to sit under a canopy, they can sit under a shade tree. We mm -hmm. set up uh, a various variety of locations so people can be very functional and relax, enjoy an hour, half an hour, whatever it takes. Uh, we're doing some exciting things this year with new people, new trainees, new volunteers, but we're also going to add drive up. So you oh, can call your wow. order in, you can drive up on a totally separate sort of end of the tents 
our main tent is a 20 by 30 and we're adding another 20 by 20 on the end of that so that will be our drive up side and there will be a separate what you can drive up place your order and drive away faster than you can probably any fast food restaurant because the menu only has a bag of two hot dogs a drink and uh, I'll hold that up so it makes it easier it's uh, a bag of hot dogs which can eat two hot dogs the ketchup mustard relish whatever you need and we do have onions and the onions are individually packed because no one makes it that way um, so then you'll be able to get that if you wish to stay and sit and eat um, you can do that and you can relax and you can maybe go back up and get another hot dog it's, take it's it back a to nice work. community event there's people that i only see once a year and it's yeah. a hot dog day that's i what think I it i think yeah. it that's yeah. the thing that has made it um, there are people who come and stay 25 30 minutes the big surprise last year although i'm very pleased i was a bit shocked uh, we normally see the fire department pick up their hot dogs not last year they decided to show up and they did and bells and whistles here they come and I thought there was an emergency, so I panicked. No, nope, oh. I didn't panic. They <laughs> no, all they jumped came for off. A hot dog. They jumped off the trucks. They came into the the, the concession area. Uh, one of them took over with uh, by Nancy and and Sandy, and I think she worked with uh, Bob Kilkelly. And we had one fireman doing cashiering, and three firemen, and this, and then two firemen over there. And they really made an effort to to just walk around and participate. And we also have the standing debate that always exists every year with oh, hot dogs. <laughs> with and the reason I picked hot dogs years ago was this is a memory. Everybody remembers, consciously or unconsciously, where you were, ballpark, boiled, family picnic, school lunch, who knows when you got your first hot dog. But the debate is, does ketchup go on the hot dog? Does <laughs> mustard go on the hot dog? Does relish go on the hot dog? No, we don't have sauerkraut. But uh, we do I was going to ask about the sauerkraut. But, <laughs> no, we thought, the, the ladies just told me, don't even think about it. So I said, okay. <laughs> and I have to take great advice. I have a large team of people who do the cooking. And um, they, they tell me one thing when it comes to getting 2,500 hot dogs cooked. Stay out of the kitchen, Bob. So I listen well. But uh, we do have individual containers of onions so that if somebody wants something, they can make their own doctor it up any way they want. But the big reason, again, is that as someone develops the later stages of Alzheimer's, things aren't quite the way they were. But they can look at a hot dog, and they may not have words for it, but they'll try to be conscious of the fact that, oh, I know that flavor, I know that smell, I know that look. So we've been very pleased to uh, be in a position, because we have the commercial kitchen at Our Lady of Mercy Church, to grill all our hot dogs. So that's another thing. People have done it and then done it with boiled hot dogs. We've done it with the grill. So we're excited about this year. Um, okay. I'm very excited. The person I'm going to introduce is both a friend and a mentor. When I first started this idea, she supported me. She said, you can make this work. And every year I talk to her. Every year I, I ask her questions. I, I don't have answers on all of the science of Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. I don't pretend to be able to read enough to know everything. But I do know that it's really fortunate for any Longest Day team, particularly our Longest Day team, that when I call this lady, she calls me back. When I need an issue or an answer, someone asked me a question, I said, here's Melissa's card. And I gave one out this morning at the VA to a lady who asked me a question. I said, I don't have that answer, but I know who does. And that's one of the things that helps us. It's embarrassing, but we don't have to have all the answers. Merrimody and Merrimack has the answers, but we know who the lady is who does. And she likes us because we have grown into her favorite large team. You know, we, there's no other team in the state with 60 volunteers. I would support you anyway, Bob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, but uh, I'm very, very pre pleased and proud to introduce my friend, Melissa Grenier, the state director. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Jean. Nice to meet you. Thanks nice for having you. me. So how long have you been the director? So I have actually been the regional manager for New Hampshire for over five years now, but I've been with the Alzheimer's Association for over 11 years now. So, um, but uh, working in New Hampshire has been over five years. And what is the definition of the Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is a progressive degenerative brain disease um, that impacts cognition, memory, behavior over time. And how does it um, differ from dementia? So dementia is actually not a complete diagnosis. It's actually a group of symptoms. 
um, a, a group of changes that happen in your brain. So a quick and easy definition for dementia is cognitive decline significant enough to impact day-to-day -day functioning. But what we want to help people figure out at the Alzheimer's Association is we do want them, we want to help them get an accurate and an early diagnosis of whatever type of dementia they have because there are many types of dementia. So we want to help people figure out exactly what type of dementia they have. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. It accounts for over 70% of all dementias that get diagnosed. So that's why a lot of times when people think of dementia, they also think of Alzheimer's because it's so prevalent. Mm -hmm. The date for the longest day, hot dog day, yeah. is? June 30th. Okay. We always pick the last Thursday in June. Um, then school is completely out. We have grown so much that we need the Our Lady of Mercy Church parking lot, the Master Cola parking lot, and a part of the Town Hall parking lot. And like I say, if you've got 300 cars there and you've got uh, three or 400 people eating and walking around, um, that's why we, we choose to wait till school is completely out. Mm -hmm. So we'll do it June 30th. I, I forget to tell you, I'm going to be out of town this year. So the only thing I can do to help you is, is to have this show, and I'll put it on YouTube as well. Well, and I, I usually wait till the end to say thank you to you. But mm -hmm. with your uh, connections, when Melissa and I were in the State House as part of the New Hampshire advocacy team, um, I must say it was rather nice to walk in and someone made an announcement on the floor of the, of the uh, and Nancy was a state rep at that time, and it was quite interesting. All of a sudden, everyone that I'm walking in with doesn't know what's going to happen. I didn't know what you were going to do. No, didn't know. But all of a sudden, everybody stands up and applauds. And Melissa's looking at me, and I go, oh. I'll take it oh, too. you were there? Yeah, I was there yeah. that day. It was really, yeah. it was, it was really and touching. And we're purple. We're purple and everybody wore purple, yeah. and everybody was responsive. And you, you, and that gave us, that allowed Merrimack to become sort of the knowledgeable source. And there were people that were asking me later in the day, how did you get the state to get involved? I said, oh, it only take one state rep, but you got to have the right state rep. I said, and then when you got that, you got everything else. But um, that's one of the reasons why it's neat to have your TV program so I can bring Melissa in and, and learn from her. So, and, and this year we're doing something different than last, last year when we did the show. Last year we, we talked about, um, I, I, I drew my little drawings. I, I make stick people I, don't, I can't draw. But I, in my mind, how I understand um, sure. how dementia works and the little brain cell and the dendrites and how they get tangled up and plaques and how yeah. the thought will jump and then there's nowhere for it to go. So that's how they lose the thought. It's, yeah. That's a good yeah. way to describe it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I read some books on, on Alzheimer's usually. Am I saying it right? Alzheimer's? Yeah. Or, sorry, yeah. Al um, and I like to, to read um, several books on the same topic for any topic. I'm one of those nerd people that reads all the time. <laughs> well, that's good. The more you learn, the more you know, the more you can help other people. So Yeah. And then I, I did a show uh, with a lady who runs um, but what's it called? Falls. Bedford Falls. Bedford Falls. Um, they they take care of the patients, and it's wonderful. One of the things I learned is um, if you you write, you know, people with Alzheimer's they they might forget how to speak and might forget who you are, but they don't forget how to read. So like with my mother, I I wrote I wrote her notes and she read it, and then a few minutes went by and she started singing a song that she sang to my daughter when she was a baby. Aww. And I still have it on my phone. I, I saved that video because yeah. that was just amazing. Yeah. Oh, also from, it's all coming back to me now. Also from that lady I learned, um, they don't forget how to get out, out the door. They know how to use a doorknob. So what you do in this situation is you put a working doorknob high up where they don't know to look up mm -hmm. and the doorknob that they're used to is not functioning. Mm -hmm. And then they, you don't have to worry about them getting out of the house and getting Wondering. lost. Yeah, so. that's a great strategy. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and, there, and there's plenty more. <laughs> yeah. plenty we more we also have a third component. <clears throat> in a minute I'm going to introduce you to Nancy Murphy, but we also have Ron Sloan's team. Yes. We also have a walk team. Team Aldo that walks in September, uh, made up mostly of the Sloan family from Merrimack and about 10 other people. So we have about 25 people that do the annual fall walk for Alzheimer's. So you can sign up at our event to join the walk team uh, as well. So we have uh, three, three functions. We had the, the, uh, the dinner, 
the event and then the walk team in the fall. And we're going to hear and about the dinner from, from and Nancy. And we have a uh, Facebook website called Merrimack End Alls, and the End Alls is one, one word. And that's put together uh, by Holly Sloan, and she's coordinated that with us. She's taken 100 pictures and combined them and put them together, so there's a lot of history to our event, the first year, the second year, the third year, and she's made a nice website out of it so that we can have people looking back to say, when was this, where was this, and who was this, and um, it's been very, very useful and very nice. So we have the three components, and at some point, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Nancy mm -hmm. and let her tell you about what her family did to put this dinner together. All right. And now we're going to hear about the fundraiser. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Janine. Uh, thank you for, for including me in this, this uh, opportunity to talk about a phenomenal uh, dinner that was held recently at Our Lady Mercy Church. Um, every year, uh, my husband and my son, who are part of the Knights of Columbus, uh, participate and actually sort of coordinate a hot dog and bean, macaroni and cheese, pulled pork, uh, brown bread, the whole spread um, dinner. Whole brown bread, yeah. Yep, and it's been, it has been quite a hit. And um, my husband's family um, has been impacted by Alzheimer's, as was my, my own dad. And it's a, it's a cause near and dear to, to all of us. And mm -hmm. as you mentioned before, it impacts so many families that, that we all know somebody that's, that's been touched by this. Um, and this year they decided um, to ask the Knights of Columbus if they would be willing to um, contribute all of the proceeds from this event to the Alzheimer's, uh, hot dogs for, to end uh, Alzheimer's. And um, of course, the, my husband and Claude Mayo, who uh, helps him do this every year, uh, we're, we're big proponents, and, and I know they talked to, to Bob and, and Ron, and, and they got great support from the Knights of Columbus. Um, and the event was held on April 30th, very well attended. Um, tickets were sold ahead of time, um, and I think there were just about 100 people there. And um, the, the, the number of donations was phenomenal. It was, just, it was just, you know, the number of homemade baked beans and homemade mac and cheese and Salad. desserts salads right mm -hmm. and um, just you know the, there was plenty of food and and um, it was a great event you know people came there was music and uh, families came and um, and this year after you know, they figured out what you know the actual expenditures were to to put this uh, together it was an 800 over eight hundred dollars um, 875 okay, okay. don't and where does the money go it goes um, to what was what's important is that the Knights of Columbus is a separate member. There's 18 pieces of the New Hampshire hot dog team. So I'm a piece, you're a piece, she's a piece, and the Knights of Columbus is a piece. And in this case, they put the 875, making them right now the biggest piece of the pie. Um, when we say we did $12,000, it's over 18 different faces, pieces, and and organization. So all the money always goes to the Alzheimer's Association National. We send our checks to Waltham, which is the district office. They process it and credit it to our Merrimack, New Hampshire team. So we have a very simple system. We proceed the money to the office in Waltham. They process it to National. And usually within a few days, it shows up on our leaderboard. And what's nice is that whether it's a small donation or a $800 donation, Alzheimer's sends a nice 401 thank you with a federal ID number and everything. So they process a thank you letter back to the person who made the donation. So all of the money that was donated and generated by um, the Knights of Columbus on that night is now in the fold and part of the amount of total that we hope to raise this year uh, with our team. Mm -hmm. Uh, now you were talking um, before about a walk, and when is that going to the be again? The walk will be in September. I'm not exactly sure unless I can stare over there at, at Mrs. Grenier, but I, I think it's sometime in September, and that's called Team Aldo, A-L-D-O. And you can find out more about that on Merrimack and Dolls, one, one word. Um, that's a website on Facebook that is run by Holly Sloan. And A L Z E N D A L Z A L Z E N D A L Z yeah right. okay right there um, and they, that's another aspect. They'll do about twenty five thirty people will do the five k walk. We've done it in Merrimack and we've done it in Manchester. So that's we're a three component team. We start with the dinner, 
we progress to the hot dog event, and then we do the fall uh, walk. So as we gather more steam and we gather more people, each unit puts their own pool of money. The fall, uh, my team money has to be in by the end of August, so my totals are done, and my event ends August 31st. So when the walks start up, they're, they're the only thing going on. They only run one major event at a time. So the walks will start up in September and it'll be a separate event. But Ron Sloan is in charge of that. And so Ron Sloan's number is 9660828, and that's 603. And Ron is a pretty well-known figure in town. 9660828. Yes. So now that I've had cataract surgery, I can read that, yes. I, well, I, I'm doing okay today. Usually I need my specs. But yeah. so <laughs> the that's, people that, that see the show and they want to help and they, they can't come to um, then a, you, a hot then dog Then you day. call, well, you can talk to any, the beauty of having, I, I don't know if I can say all names, all 18 names, but I'm going to try. Go ahead. The beauty of having 18 bodies is you can contact anybody. They can contact you. They can contact Nancy. They can contact Nancy's son. They can contact Larry Miller, Pat Miller, Greg or Linda Durbin, Lorraine or Lionel Carl. You can contact Ginny or Tom Privy. You can contact any one of the five or six Sloans, Ron, Susan, Samantha, Holly, and Kevin. Um, you can contact anybody, Fran St. Peter. Uh, these are people who joined the team and are participating and doing something different. What we need are volunteers to do help set up. I have a man named Dave Brown that handles all the setup and takedown. I need people like Nancy to run the cashiering. I need five cashiers, which means two hour, three hour, four hour periods of time. Uh, I need people to be in the tent to help Tom Lamb, Tom and Elaine Lamb, I forgot to mention, um, to run that. I need people to run the hostess tent, and that's run by Elaine Lamb. Marie Cody and Kareem Dunn, and then I have a whole group of people down in the kitchen. That's where we're going to put Zach and her husband John. They'll help cook all the hot dogs. All the hot dogs are grilled in the church basement. Then they're given over to Jenny Privy and Lee Nebu, and they take them over to the wrappers, and they're all individually wrapped. I was supposed to pick them up today, but I'll give a shout out to Buckley's again, who has given us the 2,500 foil sheets as a donation. One of the things I reach out for is I'm not always looking for money. I'm always looking for items that I need to buy. So if I can not have to buy it, um, then I can get it donated to me. And there's various things that I'll be talking to merchants about. And one of the good successes is that when gloves were hard to find, I had a vendor who gave it to me. I have another vendor who's given me his pass key to Restaurant Depot, which is where we're getting supplies oh, at a yes. much greater savings. Mm -hmm. So I just flash the guy's individual card, and I, I, it's like I'm a member of this giant cooperative. What brand of hot dogs do you use? We are very, very close. We're, the test so far is we're going to use Old Neighborhood Beef Franks this year. Um, unfortunately for us, our vendor for the last four years does not have any beef hot dogs in stock, and it's getting too close. That was we were using uh, MemberSmart from the Walmart Corporation, but they don't have any bulk hot dogs right now. And right now we did test the old neighborhood, and almost 13 to 1 people like that one over any other choice. So every year we play with it, but we guarantee people we will have all beef grilled hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Many people will go to boiled, many people will go to beef and pork, they'll go to some other substitute. You know, you can buy market basket cheap hot dogs if you wanted to, but we don't do that. Uh, I have some people who say, no, what we've done is we've offered a beef hot dog. We've offered a grilled beef hot dog, and because it's good, people come back. Mm -hmm. Hopefully our target this year is 1,250 people. We'd like to do $12,500. I'd like to continue to have 60 volunteers. I'm Bob Bergen. My number is 494-9835. If you have two hours, you can volunteer on Wednesday to help set up, Thursday night to take down, or any time during Thursday during the day. If you get there, um, <clears throat> if my good friend Mark Doyle supplies me with the walkie-talkies, we'll be able to continue to stay in touch with each other, and hopefully that'll work. But we're targeting this year 2,500 hot dogs in, in a seven-hour period, which people are telling me is getting to be more and more of a record. So yeah. thank you for letting us have your opportunity to be on your show today. Well, thank you, and thank you for helping with this great cause. And we'll be back um, 
with a follow-up show with Melissa Grenier to see how the longest day went and make sure that, you know, keep increasing those donations and the number of people for your event. Um, I, you both need to be, should be commended for, for all the work that you've done for this, as, as well as Melissa, who we, we met earlier today. So again, uh, Thursday, June 30th, right. Our Lady of Mercy parking lot. Really good hot dogs and chips and a drink. The drive-up booth will be off of the Master Cola side of the parking lot. Awesome. So Drive-up hot dogs. Love it. It doesn't get any better than that. Quick. Pick it up. Give your so, order. Thank you all for be watching. Thank you.